focused on me though. No, me. Focus. Hello everybody. Long time no see. I'm very excited because right now, I'm on my way to Arkansas with my wonderful girlfriend Lindsay, who you have not met, but there, now you have. And it is about 11.24 at night. It's Friday. We are driving two hours to camp so that I can get up early tomorrow morning and try and send my project. So thank you to Lindsay for being the most supportive girlfriend ever. <laughs> Who's willing to do this ridiculous trip just so I can send one rock climb and then come back because I have work at 5 on Saturday. Okay. It is now 1.35. We just got to Sam's Throne. You won't be able to see anything. Um, but this is our this is our setup. It's kind of hard. We got an air mattress. We've got Lindsay has a Mazda 3, which is not a very big car, but we were able to fit a air mattress in the back with the rear seats down. And I don't know how much of this you'll be able to see. We've got the front seats just like leaned forwards. And yeah, our legs are going like through into the trunk and it's a little tight like I can't I can't move up very high uh, or my legs will hit the like rear underneath the rear window the like cowl or whatever it's called um, but yeah it's pretty cozy it's a lot more comfortable than sleeping outside considering it's like 40 degrees and it's gonna get down to like 30 something and that's about it. Uh, I'm going to save the rest of the battery and the rest of the SD card for tomorrow. Also, thank you to Emma. This is her camera. It's If you see me like looking off to the side a lot, it's because I'm actually using a real camera again. And I'm not used to staring into the lens, I, so I keep looking at the screen that's at the side. So this is Emma's camera that she's letting me borrow, so huge thank you to Emma. Also, the audio is going to be bad because I don't have a mic for this, so it's the like on-camera audio, and I apologize for that. Say goodnight, Lindsay. Good night. Good morning. It's like 8.30. We woke up. It's hard to tell what the like setup was uh, last night, but you can see there's my pillow. That's the rear seat. You can see that's where it normally clips in. And Lindsay's feet are going down into the trunk. Time for breakfast. I have no idea what that means. I think I have like granola and a cliff bar, but we'll make it work. Breakfast. There's the wall. I really want there to be a route right here because like Look at that sweet cut. Oh, there's a bolt over there. Go, uh, that's more of the arete though. I want this face to be a route because I feel like there could be a really hard climb right here. No anchors though, and the rest of the wall is just a sea of blank rock. And there's a line that gets wet. That's like right where the line that I would want to climb is. But it'd be cool. I really want to camp here one day, it's like super cool, there's just a big, it's like a big cave, I can't really get far enough away to show you how cool it is, let me try here, stand on this rock, there's a little bit of perspective, there's Lindsay, here's the cave, and there is a, uh, there's an 11D that runs right up this arete and goes to the anchors right there. And I think that that would be a super cool project to have, especially if you had like the rest of your camp set up just like right at the base of it. It'd be awesome. Also caves just get me really psyched to climb because that's what I like learned to climb in, was this cave up in Wisconsin called uh, 
Willow River, look it up, it's pretty dope. If you live in the area, definitely go climb there. Lindsay hears me talk about it a lot, actually. It's pretty great. Onward, this is euthanasia. It follows this, there's a little hand crack right there and it follows this arete up to, let's see, right like there is the first bolt and then there's a ledge here and second bolt and up that second arete and then the anchors are like right there. It's pretty gnarly, it's pretty sweet, I like it a lot and today I'm gonna send it. Okay, so one of the downsides to euthanasia is that there are no good warm-ups nearby. They're all trad climbs. They're all like crack climbs, so they just wouldn't warm me up in the way that I need for this route. But, um, so I'm going to be here, like, my legs are warm from the hike in, but I'm going to be warming up my upper body, my shoulders, my forearms, and a lot of my fingers because there's some small holds on this route. And I really got to make sure I get my fingers way 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 warm before I get on there so I don't hurt any pulleys or tendons especially because I don't have any warm-up climbs before this I guess the first half is only like 10a so that's kind of a warm-up before you have to climb the crux section but there's still like it's nothing like climbing two three routes like I normally would so I gotta kind of boulder around a lot and make sure that I really warm the fingers up here I come Holy fuck legs, stop it! Clipping! Woo! I love this no hands rest!
Clipping. Yes. Take. So that's it guys, Euthanasia 512B. That was my fourth try. Feels really good. Can't wait to get out to Horseshoe soon so I can get on my other project, 512C. And then I think I'm gonna start going to a different place, Haw Creek, and start trying this 13. Uh, I don't know for sure what grade it is and I can't remember the name right now, but it was suggested to me by a friend who climbs really hard. So I, sounds good to me. Uh, I need a longer term project. These 12s are going down too fast, so. Anything to say, Lindsay? Good job. Thanks.